It's been said that Mississippi is like one big family. In the last four years, our family has gone through a lot. Hurricane Zeta slamming the Gulf Coast and tearing through the South overnight. We had so many hurricanes that they ran out of names. 300 tornadoes, tragedies in places like Rolling Fork and Amory and Bassfield and Soso and so many other Mississippi towns. We went through a terrible pandemic and lost 13,000 members of our Mississippi family. In other states, politicians locked down the economy for years. They even closed churches, but not in Mississippi. We reopened fast and our kids went back to school. We never stopped worshiping and we took care of each other because that's what family does. When Tate Reeves took office, he never expected what would happen. And when tragedy hit, he sought the help of our God. He pulled us together. He had faith in all Mississippians. As First Lady, I watched it all and I saw it up close. Tate was a leader and the liberal media went nuts. We talked about the governor of Mississippi. His rules are no stay at home order. His executive order declared that basically all businesses in Mississippi are pretty essential. The president singles out Mississippi and Governor Tate Reeves over the vaccine mandates. I proposed requirement for COVID vaccines and the governor of that state calls it, quote, a tyrannical type move. This is the worst kind of politics. The president's not slamming these governors. He's slamming the people of the state because what the governor's doing is saying the people of Mississippi are going to do the thinking. But you know, Democrats are going to pounce if your numbers start going up. Well, I'm not concerned about what Democrats think. I'll tell you that. I got to do what's right for the people of my state. We've seen cases, again, cut in half in Mississippi. In these other states that you refuse to talk about, perhaps because they have Democrat governors, you don't want to talk about them. And to tackle the recession, Tate cut taxes. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves has signed into law the largest tax cut in state history. Saving Mississippi more than half a billion dollars. It'll save families hundreds of dollars a year and make the state more competitive in the years ahead. Tate Reeves pushed ahead. Even though other states did remote learning, Tate knew our kids needed to be in the classroom. Now Mississippi's test scores are better than they've ever been number one in America for fourth grade reading and math improvement. Our high school graduation rate is the best in Mississippi history, and Tate rewarded our teachers. Well, I am so excited to sign this teacher pay raise today and make it law in the state of Mississippi. It's the state's largest teacher pay raise in a generation. With better education, now we are attracting new and higher paying jobs. Mississippi surpassed its pre-recession level of real GDP before the United States did. You guys are cruising in Mississippi, wow. Tate's $100 million commitment to job training is preparing the Mississippi workforce. Now, almost every week, Tate is announcing more new jobs. The groundbreaking of Mississippi's largest economic development project in state history. Between Milwaukee Tool and Grenada, Columbia Industries and Starkville, and now Altex too, more and more companies are moving to Mississippi. We're talking about almost a thousand jobs, paying $100,000 a year. That's huge for our uh, economy. Tate cut our state income tax, and we achieved the lowest unemployment rate in our state's history. I'll just say this, Mississippi is open for business. I don't think we would be here today uh, without his leadership and his direction and his vision and his help. After recession and pandemic and hurricanes and tornadoes, I can still stand before you tonight and declare that the state of our state is not only strong, but stronger than it has ever been. But there's so much more to do. I'm determined to defend Mississippi's culture and our way of life. And we cannot let the national liberals ruin what makes this the last great place for families. Mississippi has momentum. This is Mississippi's time. Let's keep up the Mississippi momentum. Join our campaign today.